Right, no more attacking now. about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. She came here and contacted Dandelion. There's a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just where they returned that you saw. You expect him to come home to your heart like a boar in some cold ale? Or what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we stop on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Ha! <laughs> 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 a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning call. Look what you can in it, and that. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Fahnsdrinkus every last one. Like him, you are the fruit of the fruit of the vine, like Daniel, master of the seven liberal. It's the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathala. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. Excess planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who did he see when he wrote? Ah, here it is. Ah. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. Do you really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. We're sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lasses of my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Meet you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. You need anything at the next door.
Right, read his planner. Oh, his diary. Yeah. Let me read it properly. Yeah, pause the video and read it. Whoa! It's a lot of people that I saw to. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. I thought you might have hauled something off for Conan. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Hmm. What? Wait on this. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness La Vallée. A Baroness within reach and settled for a chambermaid. Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. As he says, when they are cold, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She said I can't have it. Called him a stallion once. Thus the fool took it as a compliment. But she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. Hats up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. Hats up. Threw flower pots at him. Guess so flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humans blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf? Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre deemed her to hear. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an old guardian aristocrat with the imperial legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we know the reverse sorcery. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. There aren't much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven duties like a young Beauclair vibe. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Well, you know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right, let's go talk to all these people we need to talk to. We'll just keep following the dotted path, I think. Go around to them that way. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all here for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's.
Let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. <laughs> Hope I can look at that stuff. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. I don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when, well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Surprise bullshit. I came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And... No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covere. Ah, Horvere, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too cut to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Hmm. All this stuff here. Right, let's go talk to Ellie Helm. Oh, she's down this way. I'll put our skill point in while I can. Or do we want to put it in? Hmm. See, I don't know what to... ...to put anything for al alchemy. All these mutagens as well. Yeah, I might as well stick out combat. 